Hi, my name is Pam McIntyre, and I'm a member of People's United Methodist Church in Oregon, Wisconsin. I have a few thoughts to share with you today. Bill and I took a trip to the Southwest in 2019. During that trip, we visited many Navajo sites. We heard the story of their creation and why they use a square bead in their jewelry. The Navajo story of creation is cool because it depends on action and how others are treated. This is how the story goes. Once there were four different worlds and characters were in each different world. Each time one would emerge onto Earth, the world would change or had something added to it until it was correct. It took four times or four tries. It finally happened because the male and female deity achieved harmony, peace, and balance between themselves and throughout the four worlds. Once that happened, they were allowed to come onto earth. The four square, the square bead represents the four worlds or the four attempts. Here is a um, bookmark that I got there and you can see on the end the little square bead with its four sides. Now God depends on us to do our part also. We need to forget the part of religion that says you have to do this, you can't do that. You're not a Christian unless you fill in the blank. All that is judging, and it's a religion, not Christianity. Only Christ can tell you what a Christian is, and he made it very simple. Love God, love others. That pretty much covers everything, but it's hard. It's much easier to point fingers and act pious and think you have all the answers. Just like all the attempts in the Navajo story with the four tries. God gave us a brain and he expects us to use it. Not for our own bias interpretation of things, but to follow his expectations. That's why he made it easy. Love God love others. When you hear of the disaster in Texas or hostile takeovers around the world and you are a Christian, you probably are filled with compassion for those people. Those feelings come from the fact that as a Christian you love others. Remember that the successful attempt in the Navajo story came after there was harmony and peace and a balance among them all. Love others. But we can't forget the love God part. How can you show God love? Again, by loving others. See how simple this is? But it's not simple, is it? It's actually hard because it calls us to do something with those feelings. I don't think you have to take on the world and achieve peace and harmony with everyone, but you do have to take on what you can. You may have to step out of your comfort zone. Maybe this is by making time for others or maybe even spreading love to the unlovely. In our creation story, God creates us. We are part of God's plan. 
God chose us. Yes, God says, I choose you. Do you choose him? What are you doing to love God and love others? Are you caught up in the do's and don'ts of religion? Or are you actually taking on the responsibility of being a Christian? Remember, it's all about loving God, loving others. Not easy, but it can bring peace and harmony. Mother Teresa said, do things for people, not because of who they are or what they do in return, but because of who you are. Amen.